Hello everyone and welcome to yet another unboxing video of Makin Arcana. Hopefully this is going to be the last unboxing video that you'll see, at least from my channel, but let's see. Also I just wanted to share this opportunity to talk with you casually, spontaneously, about the status of the project and where we are. Overall we are looking pretty good. The production should be completed in a matter of days, so I'm not worried about that. There is one concern about the EU import process, but more on that later. I don't think I'm going to show you all the components in like much details. Alexandra and myself are going to go through that diligently and pedantically. And while we are talking about pedantic approach to work, this is something that I really need to rant about. This is something I need to rant about. And uh, let's start with these boxes. Even though we exchange like millions of emails with the production company, of what we want to make sure about all the tiny details. At the day they sent the boxes, there was one email as well that said, look, the boxes are sent, but there are two minor issues that you need to be aware of. First issue is with the punch board dial. I think we just sent you the German punchboard tile. Another is with the plastic tray cover for one of the plastic trays. It's a little bit loose. We fixed it, of course, in production and uh, that's all being taken care of. But just wanted to let you know. And I remember Alexandra explicitly asking the question when we, uh, when we saw that they combine all the different languages. She asked, like, you guys are sure you're not gonna get mixed up with uh, components from other languages? How could we do that? We were doing this for years. Trust us, don't worry about it. But yeah, here we are. Or, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure if you have the same experience, but very often I sent an email with uh, you know, a lot of detailed bullet point points of uh, things that we need to, to respond to know the status of. And uh, like I sent an email with seven bullet point lists very quickly, very shortly, just the status and questions, very concise questions. And I get, after two days, a vague response to one question. And then there is another email with, uh, okay, cool, what about the other six questions? And all that stuff. But I think that's just the way it goes and uh, each company has a lot of stuff to do. And. Uh, I'm not giving them a hard time, but it's just something that, that bothers me. I'm going to be blunt about it. But enough about the ranting. This looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's open this stuff. Everything. I'm not going to show you a lot of details. I will let you guys enjoy the unboxing for yourself. But just a quick general overview. So the guide between the manual and the four player aids. Here is the tiles. 
this is what I'm interested in. Those plastic tray covers. I'm so glad that we've chosen to go with that. It's much better. It's much professional and frankly it looks like a perfect product from what I envisioned like 70 years ago to where we are now I couldn't be more satisfied really so all the component seems to be here this is also great everything is here seems to be everything accounted for Items each in its own monsters and explorers and the events. Perfect. Really satisfied. Yeah, let's let's see about the the German punch board. Is it even here? I didn't saw it here. Oh yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's German. Ha. Well it's not very different. I see that the deep one is Tiefes Wesen, the which is Hexe. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and the flying polyp is Flugkrake. I think I didn't butcher, but I sure had did. So let's go with the other boxes. Let's go with the from beyond. Oh yeah, this is also something that uh, unexpectedly came to me. Uh, the plastic tray for the expansion box was, I don't know, was optional. It, it was expensive, but in the end we went with why the hell not. So I never even saw the tray for it and it's there and yeah perfect i'm really glad that we went with the tray as well for these yeah this is english this is no everything okay and everything is accounted for that's the front beyond let's see the to eternity and yeah uh, another thing that i really want to talk about is the possible obstacle that the European backers are might might face on the worst case scenario. And uh, as you probably know, the EU really started to be much more strict when it comes to regulation concerning the import, VAT, OSS. A couple of new legislations came into effect from the 1st of July. And I think we will be affected by this. No, no, I think. I know that we will be affected by this. And then this is another of my rant regarding the distribution company. Because I know about that months ago. I remember sending the email towards the end of the last year. I, look, I know that there is some talk about the VAT regulations, guys. What should we do in advance? Do you think we should do something? But there was nothing concise from them. Until now. <laughs> and even now, it's I who initiated all that talk. I do understand that, you know, because uh, contractually they're just dealing with the distribution. But they are also planning the shipping, so it, it, might, it makes sense that the distribution company that's dealing with the worldwide distribution would be on top of the EU distribution and uh, to be on top of all the regulations that come in, into effect. But no, they, they have been somewhat helpful, but uh, I think that they should be much more proactively in that regard. It might be a little bit uh, problematic uh, from my perspective because I think of it okay if I have a distribution company and I know that a lot of my clients are EU uh, clients or they are importing into the EU so as a distribution company 
I'm going to talk with a couple of tax advisors, uh, a couple of you know, accountant firms, and just to have a very precise picture of the status and how to explain to my clients that we are on top of it. Look, we need you to, to do this or this. If you have a EU entity, then these are options for you. But no, only yesterday, finally, only yesterday, I received an email, uh, a confirmation of the problems. Like uh, I asked even before, are you absolutely certain that uh, uh, the EU import needs to be done by the company that owns the products and is registered in the country that the import will take place? And only yesterday, I received a definitive Yes, that's correct. But thankfully, uh, I've taken things into my own hands and uh, already talked to a couple of tax advisors and companies in Germany for the tax accountant firms that would help me out in this matter. There are a lot of options how to approach on that, but uh, I think we're going to be fine. And I, from this uh, moment of time while looking at all the facts I think there's not going to be any delay whatsoever but that means a lot of work additional work on my end to try to to organize everything logistically and legally from the standpoint of EU backers you don't have to worry about the additional costs for now but I don't think there should be any because uh, even before I calculated the VAT and accounted that for, so you're fine. It's more about the legal way of doing the import, as the old way is not going to be applicable today. So a couple of uh, contexts have been uh, uh, reached already. Uh, also, I have a lot of friends, and uh, Michalis from Greece, one of uh, one of my really biggest Borgen friends, hopefully even, you know, we get to meet, meet each other. Uh, he's my licensing agent, he's also aware and uh, looking for uh, things and for knowledge. Uh, I'm talking with Borgen Circus and Matagot, who are publishers and who have those problems on their own. So, by combining everything together, I'm absolutely sh certain that we're in a good spot. But just, you know, I want to be transparent and uh, there are those hiccups logistically and legally that I just need to, to fix and to find a solution to all of that. Uh, with these uh, boxes, I'm really pleased. But as I said before, Alexander and myself are going to go through each and every component and just make sure that everything is Correct. So one of the one of the questions is, well, if everything is completed, the production is completed, and you find a problem, then what then? Then we would need to. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say that all the weapon cards are missing a hand icon, and everything is already produced. What then? Then we would need to produce all the new weapons unbox and unshrink wrap all the boxes, replace those decks with the new ones, put everything together and shrink wrap. It's a lot of problem, it's a lot of money and effort, but somebody is going to pay for it and uh, in my opinion not the backers, so don't worry about it. So in closing everything is looking really really good, really optimistic. I'm really optimistic that we uh, will start the, the ball rolling on the shipping and distribution in a matter of weeks and then hopefully very quickly you'll receive your boxes. So if you have any more questions or whatever, I'm always here looking, uh, looking for, to hear your thoughts and uh, once more really grateful for your support, uh, for your patience in this manner, and uh, I wish you all the best. Bye.